Because I like a challenge, I decided to make a self-centering lathe chuck, and this is my prototype. I made it with the intentions of exploring the possibilities, and the idea then was to build a second one and improve on it. Uh, but that's not going to happen because I don't think I can make it strong enough and safe enough to use. It's very sloppy and not very accurate, and I think I could improve on that, but I don't think I can improve on the strength of it. Uh, a CNC would have been good, I don't have one, but that would have made it more accurate and uh, possibly stronger, but I still don't think it was strong enough, so even then I don't think that would work either. Uh, I thought it was worth making a quick video though because it's... Uh, quite a cool piece and the um, mechanism inside is quite interesting so I thought I'd take it apart and show you what I've done and how it works. There's a ring on the back and that turns freely and that's what moves the jaws in and out. So if I turn that all the way then the uh, jaws will come out. Okay. So the main chuck is in two halves with the ring running freely in the middle. So there's just four screws, so I'll take those out. So the body is in two parts and it sandwiches the main uh, scroll wheel. So this is the interesting part of the mechanism. It's a spiral and it's an Archimedes spiral and on the uh, underneath of the jaw we have a runner with teeth that sit in the uh, spiral and when we turn the ring that's what pulls the jaw in and out. This piece is made out of two separate bits of plywood. I've cut the spiral separately and then glued it on and I've just cut that with the bandsaw with a template uh, glued to it and I really took my time and uh, did it as accurately as I could and it's fairly accurate but obviously it isn't that accurate uh, if it was done on a CNC it would be uh, far more improved and it could have been cut out of one piece of plywood as well obviously you can see the plywood's chipped here and there that's just because it's cheap plywood so we could improve on that and use better plywood as well but this was just the prototype um, and then the jaw has a hardwood runner there that's what goes in in the top piece and runs in there and the teeth as well were cut out of a, a separate piece of hardwood that's glued onto the runner and I cut those with the bandsaw as well and how I did that was um, I used a larger piece of, um, of hardwood that hung over here and I cut out the teeth so they kept them all together into one piece this bit here we're holding them together I glued it on and then trimmed off that excess afterwards so hopefully that makes sense uh, I had to um, use a chisel to ease over the edges and I had to sand here and there to get them to work I've broken one or two of the teeth off because they just aren't strong enough so even if you did this with a CNC and it was more accurate I'm still not convinced that they would be strong enough we could make the uh, runner out of aluminium maybe and that would address and it address the problem and even this ring and uh, spiral could be made out of aluminium as well I don't know how easy that would be I've never used um, uh, a CNC so I'm really not sure but then maybe you could get it to work because the rest of it could be built with plywood there's uh, no problem with the jaws and all that part of it the it's just this spiral and the teeth and the runner they just need to be more accurate Sorry I didn't have a usable project to show you, but hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway and you got something out of it. These projects don't always work out, but I thought this one was worth sharing. Some people probably think that I totally wasted my time, but I really didn't because I got to challenge myself and that's what I really enjoy. And in the end, I made the mechanism work even if it isn't a useful tool. So this is just going to sit up on the shelf and it will be there for display. And when somebody asks what it is, I'll take it down and show them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.